Hi, so today I am going to talk about supplier performance management. Now we regularly review our performance day in day out. A student review his performance based on the marks that he gets in the examination. A mother reviews her culinary habits based on the feedback that she receives from her family members. A country reviews the performance based on the GDP growth. An organization reviews that whether they have achieved their target or not based on the business plan achievement. Similarly, supplier performance is equally important. But the question is why it is important. So there are a few reasons for that. First of all, the success of any organization depends upon the performance of their supplier. So supplier is an equal partner to the success of any organization. Then secondly, it's a dynamic world. Things are changing so fast. So it's important to check whether the suppliers are ready to change and adapt themselves as per the changing time. Thirdly, and the most important thing is that expectation of customer is ever changing. So whether organization as well as the supplier is willing to understand the expectation of customer and adapting themselves as per that. Now it brings another question. What should be the frequency of doing the supplier performance monitoring? Now it will entirely depending upon the risk which is associated with the supplier. There can be a supplier who may be making a component which is not impacting the quality of organization. So the frequency can be very low, but there can be a component which immediately impacts the quality at the organization level as well as at the customer level. So the frequency should be more about that. Then it also depends upon the previous performance of the supplier if there is consistent quality problem or delivery problem. So the frequency should be more with respect to supplier performance monitoring. If you talk about ISO 9001, they don't specify any requirement with respect to supplier performance monitoring that what are the criteria on which we have to do. But as per clause number 8.4, IATO 16949 clearly specifies six key characteristics which needs to be monitored minimum. It can be more but cannot be less. So let me go through all the six characteristics. The first one is product performance. Second one is delivery performance. The third one is occurrences of premium freight. The fourth one is customer disruption. The fifth one is customer notification with respect to quality and delivery. And the sixth one is with respect to recalls, field return, warranty, field actions. Now let's go through it one by one. The first one is product conformance. Now whatever material a supplier is supplying to the organization, whether it is fulfilling the quality parameters as per the drawing and technical specification. So that is about the product conformance. Generally it is being measured in PPM or in percentage. The second important parameter is about delivery performance that maybe the quality is good, but if you look at the automotive industry especially, or wherever there is a mass production, the requirement is that you have to deliver every day in certain organizations, especially the big manufacturers, OEMs like car manufacturers, there may be a requirement that you have to supply every two hours. So you may be delivering the quantity, but whether it is being supplied at the right time or not. So that is the second indicator with respect to delivery performance. Generally, it is being monitored in terms of percentage. The third and a very important indicator is about occurrences of premium freight. Now, standard is not demanding about the amount which is being paid for the premium freight. But standard is only asking for how many times it is happening that premium freight is being paid to the organization. One important thing to understand is that in general, it is being assumed that if the premium freight is paid by a supplier, only then it needs to be considered. But if the premium freight is paid by the organization, it did not be considered. So we must consider both the cases, both by organization or by supplier. If it is by supplier, then that indicates that there may be some issue with respect to quality, with respect to planning, with respect to some labor issue at supplier end. And if it is happening at organization end, that also reflects the kind of challenges which maybe the organization is having or at times organization is paying premium freight because there is some urgent requirement coming from the customer. The fourth requirement is 
with respect to customer disruption, customer line stoppages. Now, this is a very serious issue because when a product is being made by the organization and then it is supplied to the OEM and in case because of any quality or delivery issue, the customer line gets stopped because of the supplier. That's an extremely serious issue. So that's one of the key indicators with respect to performance monitoring. The fifth one is again related to the fourth one that is customer notification related to quality and delivery. Now this particular requirement is only with respect to few IAT subscribing OEMs which include Ford, GM, Chrysler, Peugeot, BMW and all these customers. So they have a specific requirement that if there is a very serious kind of customer complaint it could be quality, it could be delivery which can impact the OEM. So that will be considered as a customer notification. So many things can happen. Like in case of Ford, it can result in Q1 revocation. In case of other customers, it can relate result in new business hold or maybe the immediate suspension of the certification that is IAT 169 certification. Now that brings the last requirement that some cases which happens once the product is delivered to the consumer. It may result in warranty in case there is a quality issue. If there is a grave serious issue, it may result in recall because of supplier. There may be a requirement that we need to do some kind of segregation or reworking at consumer end or at dealer end because of the supplier. So all those cases will also be considered in performance rating. Now, one thing which is very important that I have discussed with you about all the six indicators but how much the organization or the top management is giving importance to the performance rating? So let me raise a few questions in front of you. How often it happens that the top management actually reviews the performance of the supplier who are actually considered to be the equal partner? How often it happens that the supplier rating is being calculated but it is not being shared with the supplier? And thirdly, even if it is being shared, do the management demands the action plan that what they have done with respect to that rating? And fourth, the most important one is, do we have a different criteria of supplier performance monitoring depending upon the risk that organization is having or not? So these four important questions are, we need to think about that. So let me summarize. There are six key parameters for supplier performance monitoring as per IATF 16949. The first one is product conformance. The second one is delivery performance. The third one is occurrences of premium freight. The fourth one is customer line disruption. The fifth one is customer notification with respect to quality and delivery. And the sixth one is with respect to warranty, recall, field action, and the issues related to delivery. In case you want to know a little bit more in detail about this particular article, you can go to the video description and you can know about that. And if you regularly want to get updated information about the videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will get the updated information. Thank you.